All right, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, it's Monday, and it's time to get to work. We have to cover a few things here that I, th I think are really important. Uh, so it's no secret. Uh, we are now witnessing the largest surge, or the greatest surge, uh, in the price of crude oil since 1991. It's, uh, it's historic. And uh, it looks like there's a lot of finger pointing here at Iran. Uh, I, I would be more than certain you're covering at least some of what's going on here. Um, I did a video on Saturday where I explained to you there are several very positive stock market dynamics in play right now. Number one, this thing with uh, Saudi Arabia getting hit like this sends the price of crude oil skyrocketing. The entire energy sector is up 3%. No surprise to you. I explained to you how this would play out. Um, however, President Trump made a statement about the U.S. military being locked and loaded. Um, this was stock market negative. It sent futures lower. But if you look at the stock market right now, as I am doing this video blog, stocks are under a little bit of pressure, but well off the lows. You know, when, when the market hears something like that, like a president saying the U.S. military is locked and loaded, uh, specifically he said um, awaiting verification, sounds like a threat to me. Will he follow through? I sincerely hope not, and I'll tell you why. Most of you probably don't know that, and I'm going to urge you to do your own research on this. Right now, as I am doing this video blog, the United States is involved in no less than six military conflicts. Um, they don't call them wars anymore. We don't declare war anymore. We just bomb the hell out of people. We send our military over there. People die. Um, so if President Trump follows through this time, uh, and we're going to talk about that in a second too, this would be seven uh, endless conflicts. They're not wars anymore. Can't call them that. Um, and, I, and again, these why do these things occur? I think we all understand why the United States gets involved in endless wars. Now, so let, let's put a perspective on some more of this here. So Saudi Arabia, uh, they got attacked pretty good, shut down half of their oil production. They're getting some back online here. Um, so I don't recall um, a bomb hitting us here in the United States. So why is the president saying that the, the U.S. military is locked and loaded here. Uh, why do we have to run to their defense? Well, it all comes to the petrodollar. It all comes to the fact that the United States military is mandated to protect the oil of OPEC nations. This is why the U.S. dollar is the world reserve currency. Saudi Arabia has a uh, formidable military, but we have to jump or the president has to threaten that we will do something. Whether or not he follows through, we'll see. Um, if the president does follow through with some kind of uh, pointed, uh, targeted attack here, I think it, number one, it would be a huge mistake. Number two, I think it would be negative for the stock market in the short run. Uh, just, just so you can, you know, think about what you want to do with your cash moving forward here. You would see cash move into safety. Uh, for a little bit, and, and whenever uncertainty is injected into the market, you get uh, stocks that fall under some pressure. I mean, a classic example is this: President says U.S. military is locked and loaded. Stock futures boom, come down. However, if this does not escalate, understand what I'm saying. There are still several very positive things for this market right now. This thing with crude oil, believe me, is market positive. Uh, it boosts the price of crude oil, no secret, highest surge since, since 1991. Energy sector, massive boost. The financials will get a boost. Plus, we got the promise of easy money, dollar devaluation. I mean, you can go on and on. So they're going to make sure at least... Um, they try to prop this stock market up until someone makes a mistake. And in my view, yet again, if the United States gets involved in what would be no less than seven now if the president strikes 
uh, Iran here, because that's who he's pointing the finger at just this morning, uh, that, that would, uh, I mean, really, why do we need to be involved in all these endless wars? You make up your own mind on that one. Uh, we're already in six. Do we need another one? I don't think we do, but the banks do. The military-industrial complex does. Uh, and this would be a major boost for the energy sector, for the, the defense stocks. So, and, and again, who finances all this? The banks do. So all wars are banker wars. You know that. Uh, I think what's being set up here might be a scapegoat as well. We just found out again this morning, U.S. manufacturing, the entire sector remains in contraction. Uh, our economy is doing very badly. You're not being told this. We're, you're being told we're booming, and this is why the president's calling for you know, uh, zero and negative rates and dollar intervention. You can't make this stuff up, but this is what people are being told, and there are many people that believe it's true. Um, I can promise you that nothing would make central banks happier here than another conflict. Uh, again, it's not a war. This would be, again, number seven. This is what central banks want. They want to keep issuing debt. They finance the entire thing. The banks that support them finance the entire thing. So I am sincerely hoping that President Trump does nothing here. I really, you know, just, just don't do a thing. Let Saudi Arabia handle their own situation. Uh, I don't think that Saudi Arabia is going to dump the dollar as the world reserve currency. Could they? Sure they could. Again, the, the petrodollar exists only because nations like Saudi Arabia specifically said, okay, we will price our oil in dollars if you defend our oil. Now we have a major attack on, a, uh, on Saudi Arabia, on their oil fields here. So this is going to put President Trump to the test here. I hope he has at least one functioning brain cell, which, uh, which will remain to be seen and really does nothing. His locked and loaded threat, let's hope that's all it was, was a threat here. And uh, again, I don't believe we need to be in another conflict. Six is enough. No less than six is enough, uh, in my view. I don't know about you. Uh, anyway, so that's where we are right now, people. It's pretty, it's pretty important. Now, one last thing. I bend over backwards, forwards, and sideways to try to make your life easier trading. Right on my website, I posted it over the weekend, right here. A brand new 100% free charting system, which I call the one, two, three, boom. Three steps. Three simple steps to place trades. Uh, this is it. I sincerely believe this is the most simple trading system on the planet. Uh, and I'm going to suggest if you're even dreaming about trading, go check this out. It's right on my website. There's a link in the description of this video. Paper trade first. Follow the three steps which I outlined for you. It couldn't be easier. I mean, and it's all free. So take advantage of it. Um, let them play their game. We're going to play ours. We are not going to lose. We know exactly what we need to do. It, it just, look, all of this, even this, this new thing going on in, in the Middle East, no surprise, uh, just makes our life simpler, all right? We are going to not be fleeced. I promised you from how long ago. It won't happen on my watch. I refuse. If I have to work around the clock, honest to God, to make all of you uh, able to take advantage of, of precious metals, how to play the debt explosion that we are into, how to rip the face off this market. That's what I will do. Uh, I am determined to do that, and that's why I, I, I don't stop thinking. I constantly try to come up with ways to make your life easier. It's that simple. And Because uh, again, I believe in my soul, in my heart, that we are all responsible for each other, and I also believe in paying it forward. I have a very nice life, uh, and I, I am, and I work hard at it. But I feel like I should give back, and that's why I do these video blogs uh, and, and try to put up things like this for you. One, two, three, boom! Could not be easier. People, check it out right on my website. Link in the description of this video. Ponder all the things I've talked about. In this video, I want to uh, hear the comments as well. Do you believe the United States should now begin another conflict, number seven? Right now, we're already in six. I think that's enough. Uh, 
let let the Saudis fight their own battles. I think personally, the president should have kept his mouth shut with his locked and loaded comment. Let's see what the market's doing. Let me give you a live update. Stocks are still under a little pressure here. Not not really too much, despite that threat from the president. Again, why there's a lot of things, a lot of dynamics in this market that are positive. And uh, I don't know if the market's believing the president is going to strike here. I think the market believes, as, as I do, that it would be a big mistake for the president to strike Iran. And he really should calm down the threats. Because at one point, we might actually have a point where he needs to do something to protect the United States. And his threats will seem very thin. So uh, with that said, people, I love all of you. Please share this video. Get it out there. And lastly... Have a look at the one, two, three, boom system. Three freaking steps. Anyone can anyone can trade now and be successful in my view. Uh, my quant system is still available for those of you who are more advanced in trading. Um, so take advantage of that too. It's also 100% free. Everything is free on my website. So just uh, use that resource. Again, I love you a lot. Share the video. See you later.